apart from the laboratory tests some field identification tests are also there to classify the soils or to make a quick judgment so some of those i'm discussing here the visual examination is nothing but you take some soil and you check the uh, contents if it if it is showing mostly bigger particles then it is a coarse grain soils and if the finer particles are more then it is a fine grain soils so if it is a fine grain soils then we can perform some other tests also on it so first is the dilatancy test in this test we take some wet soil uh, not very wet but some soil we take and we shake it in our hand and we try to squeeze it and so depending upon that squeezing and shaking it, the what happens the water comes water comes on the surface and it disappears it means the water come outside and then it goes again inside so depending upon that we classify it as this reaction is quick if water disappears rapidly and slow the water takes some time to disappear and no reaction if it does not go back if the water does not go back so if the reaction is quick that is an indication of silt if the reaction is slow or if it is not showing any reaction that is an indication of so it it means that if the water has come out and it is not going back again or it is taking a lot of time then it is in it is an indication of clay then after that next test is toughness so the same sample for what we use for dilatancy test we dry it a little bit so it reaches its plastic limit and then we try to roll it into the threads of 3 mm so as it starts to crumble just starts to crumble that is an indication that it has reached its plastic limit now we again need this soil and we try to again roll it into the threads so if we can roll it again by applying some extra pressure by high pressure then it is termed as the soil is having high toughness and which means that it can be rolled below its plastic limit so it has reached its plastic limit but then if we need it so it will lose some of the water and so <laughs> after that also if we can roll it by applying some extra pressure it means that it is having high toughness and similarly if we if it starts to crumble if we roll it below its plastic limit then it is medium toughness or it cannot be rolled again or it crumbles as we try to knead it then it is having low toughness and so depending upon this if it is a if it is a clay is of organic nature then it gives spongy feel in hands and it cannot be rolled into threads or if it is a non plastic soil also then also it cannot be rolled then the dry strength so for dry strength the same sample we dry it until it it loses its water content completely and after that we apply some pressure from our finger so if it it converts into powder easily then it is having low dry strength and similarly if it is requiring some some pressure from our finger then it is having medium dry strength or if it it cannot be powdered at all then it is termed as high dry strength
now next is the organic content and order order color so if it is of organic origin then it gives order of decomposed organic matter and if we heat up then this odor intensifies and if it is of organic nature then this color will be dark these are the various ways which can be applied in the field apart from that some one more test this is acid test it is used to check if the soil is having calcium content in it so it is tested with hydrochloric acid and if it is if it start to form bubbles then it means that calcium is present in the soil and this soil may show some extra dry strength which is due to the cementing capacity of calcium not because of the soil and one more test is there which is shine test so if we take a soil sample and if we cut it with a knife and the surface if it if it is a very shiny surface then it indicates a plastic clay and dull surface represents low plasticity so this is it